You can visit just about anywhere on the battlefield thanks to Virtual Gettysburg's 99 360-degree panoramic photographs. There are a number of ways to move from one panorama to another. Let's reset the screen. Select any tour from the Tours palette and then click on the Stop Tour button. You can go to a new panorama from within the current panorama by clicking on a hotspot. To see where the hotspots are, click on the Show Hotspots button. There are two types of hotspots. The oval hotspots represent panoramas and the rectangular hotspots represent monument photos and historic scenes. We'll talk about the rectangular hotspots later. If you roll the cursor over an oval hotspot, the cursor turns into an arrow and a thumbnail photo of the panorama it represents shows up in the photos palette. Simply click on the hotspot to go to the new panorama. Note that both maps in the map palette update when you go to the new panorama. If a tour had been going, clicking on this hotspot would have stopped the tour. Hotspots work whether or not you can see them. Make them invisible by clicking the Show Hotspots button again. The best way to find a hotspot when the hotspots are hidden is to keep the cursor right around the horizon line and spin the panorama. Then, when the cursor turns into an arrow, you can look in the Photos palette to see if this is where you want to go. If it is, then click on the hotspot. If the cursor turns into a hand, you are over a rectangular photo hotspot. We will discuss those later. You can go to a new panorama from the interactive map. Zoom in the interactive map thumbnail using the Zoom In button. The green buttons represent panoramas. When you roll over a green button in the map thumbnail, a thumbnail photo of the panorama it represents shows up in the Photos palette. Simply click on the green button to select the new panorama. Note that both maps in the Maps palette update when you go to the new panorama. If a tour had been going, clicking on the green button would have stopped the tour. You can reposition the interactive map thumbnail by clicking anywhere on the center map or by dragging the detail area. Then, as before, you can click on a green button in the interactive map thumbnail to select a new panorama. Finally, you can go to a new panorama from the list in the Panoramas palette. Click on the Panoramas button. You will see a list of all of Virtual Gettysburg's 99 panoramas. They are listed geographically by area, somewhat following the order of battle. When you roll over a panorama's name in the list, a thumbnail photo of the panorama it represents shows up in the photo's palette. Simply click on the name to select the new panorama. If a tour had been going, clicking on the name would have stopped the tour. Now, click on the Maps Palette button. Note that both maps in the Maps Palette have updated to show the position of the new panorama. Note that when you leave a tour by selecting a new panorama, the Sites tab and the Info tab disappear.